Hi, I'm Noah Bradley and I want to welcome you to Handmade House TV, episode 15, where we solve that mystery of why do they build a chimney on the outside of a, of a home? Stay tuned. Today I want to answer one of the questions that I get an awful lot of the time, and it's a great question, it's a wonderful question, and it's a question not a whole lot of people know an answer to, and it took me actually years to actually pull all the pieces together, and that is, why is a chimney located on the outside of a home? I, I bet once a week, maybe two or three times a week on occasion, I'll get, the, I'll get the same question repeated and I'm hoping to answer it. As you can see here today, we're at a little log cabin that I built years ago, and it has a chimney on the outside of it. Uh, and the, the why we have chimneys on the outside of our home is first of all, it's based upon tradition that we seem to hang on to the reasons of the past and also that there are reasons why we want to continue doing it today. Okay, in, in the past, the, there was a, a several reasons why they did it. Uh, one of the reasons why they did it was because if it's on the exterior of a home, people had a major concern for house fires back back in the early days. There was no fire department to come to put it out. There was no homeowner's insurance. And it seemed like on a farm or a, or a rural setting that everyone had a fire going all the time. And the chimneys back then were not the chimneys of today. They didn't have the fireproof clay liners going down the middle. They weren't surrounded with cement uh, that, would, that would hold it all and keep it confined. They were basically dry laid with stone with nothing more than most of them with nothing, some with mud, uh, some with a little bit of lime mixed in with it. But nonetheless, it wasn't uncommon for a person to actually be able to stand in a yard and and would see the flames between a couple of different rocks on a chimney uh and that's that's the danger of it so chimneys were were dangerous but ne necessary things during colonial times during during early american life and if you had one on the outside of the house it could be it could be the fire could be extinguished easier it was closer to the well closer to water and also it wasn't uncommon for them actually to throw a rope or a chain around the chimney and with a team of horses to, if, during a chimney fire, that they would pull the chimney over in the yard just and let it just explode and burn in the yard rather than burning down the house. So there was the practical side of, of fire safety. Uh, but nonetheless, in New England, when you go visit the northern states here, here in the U.S., you'll find that there were a lot of uh, chimneys uh, built on the interior of a home. And actually, I've, as I've said before, that, that was kind of the, the, the origins of a home, and that is that people originally would gather around a fire. They'd want a roof over top of their heads. They would, uh, they would build, a, they'd build a roof. The smoke would come in there. Uh, needed to exit out and so chimneys were invented and basically a home was just enough space around a chimney that people could get in there and huddle around it and so there, there it makes sense that one would want to have a chimney on the interior of a home that it heats the fire heats up the mass of the chimney and that that heat would slowly radiate back and it wouldn't be lost to the exterior such such as in a case like this uh, but that is in New England, uh, where the summer weather was, is, is mild, the winters are harsh and long. Uh, most of the United States, from Pennsylvania down to, down to Florida, uh, the summer, we have four seasons, and the summers are excruciatingly hot. And bear in mind that fires were burnt, fires were kept year-round. Uh, that people cooked in it uh, year-round. A fire was in that fireplace all the time, and uh, particularly in the months of uh, July, August, and September, there was a lot of food that was that was put away for the winter that needed to be preserved uh, over an open fire. And the idea of uh, open fire inside during the summer months uh, with no air conditioning uh, you'd want as much of that heat to be on the exterior of a home to be dissipated. So, uh, yet again, another reason why you'll see so many on the outside. 
Uh, but today we continue that tradition for that for those historic reasons because we are used to seeing them on the outside and so we continue that today. Uh, but there's another reason to have, uh, there's a couple more reasons to have one on the outside. For one thing, uh, a chimney takes up a lot of space. Uh, I've seen some of the, the tiny houses that are popular today that aren't much bigger than the, than the base of that chimney. And you put that beast on the inside, you're, you're taking away that amount of square footage from the interior of your home. So it's stuck on the outside. But I think that the, the number one reason besides tradition uh, why we do them on the outside is because they are so beautiful. They are they they add so much to the aesthetics of a home that we look to see them. I think that we judge the quality of home by seeing an attractive chimney on the outside. And I always focus on making the chimney as attractive as I can. And we'll go into future episodes on how to make one attractive. And of course, we want one functional. I think that's 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 a no-brainer. We want one that draws properly and is safe. Uh, but but um, my focus is on uh, on taking it one step further on making it as attractive as, as it can be. And so, if you're going to go to the trouble of of building a chimney, of making it as attractive as it can and you want to stick with tradition and you want to make the, the outside of your home appeal and you don't want to take up interior space then then the next the thing that i would encourage you in the design of your home is to make sure and put the chimney where you can see it uh, when you come up the driveway to this little cabin that's you see that as you're getting out of the car and as you're walking to the home you see the chimney. You don't have to walk around to the back side of the of the home in order to see it. It's not it's not lost. You you pay a premium for it. It's a beautiful thing. Show it off to the world. Bring it out front. Uh, make your neighbors jealous. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that that wraps it up for today. Um, this is Noah with uh, Handmade House TV. I thank you so much for joining in. Come see me sometime on handmadehouses.com and make sure that you're following us on Facebook, uh, Noah's Handmade Houses. Until next week, uh, thank you for joining in. We'll see you then.